grab the car keys and wash that up. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again today. My name is Adeola, you're welcome to Ola Books Readers Reviews, where I have been reading my published stories. All right, last week I stopped the reading of Colors of Love after I've read six chapters plus the prologue, okay? And I want to say thank you for your feedback. It really, 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 really made me happy. All those feedbacks I got from you are, thank you. All right, so it is all our books readers reviews and I'm happy that you commented on Colors of Love. And today I want to carry you along as I introduce you to I Am Mama's Favorite. It is a children's book. And now you might ask me, why are you introducing us to a children's book when your audience are all adults? This is the reason. Okay, if you're a mom or a grandma or a dad or a granddad or you have a mom or you have a sister, you want to stay around, all right, because of your nephews, because of your nieces, you want to stay around so that you can know what is in the book. And not only what is in the book, because what is in the book is going to bring out, you know, an issue I really want to discuss today and which I know you will be ready, you know, to hear, uh, to listen to and also to contribute to. And what am I talking about here? You will hear more about it as I discuss, you know, the reason or how I got the inspiration to write this book. With my children books, my intentions are always to see, you know, what are these children thinking about as you care for them. As you give them what you think they need, what is the response? What is going on in their minds? Okay, that is what I try to do. So with my experience being a child care provider, with my experience being with children uh, for almost 12 years, um, I've learned a few things from children. And I've also learned a few things from, you know, what they do and, you know, why I try to observe and see why they do the things that they do. So sometimes last year, there was this new parent who came in and she said, I'm a breastfeeding mom and I intend to breastfeed my child all through his first six months, all of breastfeed, exclusive breastfeeding. And she wanted to know if the program accepts um, breastfeeding moms and kids. And I said, yes, of course, you're welcome. So this is what happens. We have this uh, rocking chair. She comes in every morning with our child and she will sit down. She will breastfeed the child. And then sometimes the child will fall asleep before she leaves. Sometimes it will not fall asleep. And uh, as she leaves, she will leave us bottles, like four, sometimes five bottles of the number of ounces that the child drinks at a time, you know? So after she leaves, we have to time the child every two hours, every two to three hours, the child gets more milk. And now as this child, you know, sucks the milk, as this child drinks from the bottle, you know, and sometimes the way he smiles, the way he like, you know, shows excitement, and sometimes the way he shows content, all of those things got to me, you know? And I try to think, what is this child thinking? He's drinking his bottle, he's smiling. Sometimes before, while he's burping, he's going back to sleep. And another thing with a breastfeeding child, if you all have experience with them, is this. They'll enjoy the warmth that comes from the mom or the warmth that comes from the person feeding them. And they get so attached, you know. So at the points where a mom is breastfeeding a child, something is going on there. Right, so watching this child, watching the mom brings back memories of when I was raising my children as infants, you know? And then one day I was sitting down in the office and I was th thinking of this child because this child, you have to hold him, you know, hold him and then lay him down. And then he wants you to keep on holding him, that affection. And that is something that child care providers do not really, you know, like, because when you have other children, you cannot hold one child for the whole day. And it's not even good for the children because, you know, you need to let them develop on their own. You need to give them that uh, sense of independence. 
But with breastfeeding children, it is always hard to separate the child and the mom or the child and the caregiver because they enjoy that warmth. All right, so that day I was just thinking about, you know, this child and the mom and I began writing down some lines. And those lines that I wrote turned out to be this book you're saying today. Okay, so there is this lady I met online who wrote a comprehensive review about I am mama's favorite. And I really want to share that with you today. And before I share the review, before I share the review with you, I am going to read at least two pages of I am mama's favorite. All right. I've shown you what the cover look, page looks like, and I'm about to start reading. And uh, on the inside, there is another cover page. The cover page looks like this. It looks like this. All right. So uh, the first page says, I am mama's favorite. When I suck happily, the nature's milk in her warm embrace. As I lock my eyes with hers in appreciation of her love, she lets me curl my little fingers all around her big pointer. All right, so I am going to read the review from this lady and please stay with me, don't go, because this review will, the review will tell you a lot, not only about the book, but also about the relationship that exists between mother and a child. Some books can never be obsolete. And definitely, I Am Mama's Favorite by Adiola Uyekola is one. The book has detailed illustrations paired with a warm message of unconditional love, making this adorable book a welcome addition to any child's bookshelf. It's a masterpiece of perfection for acknowledging the special people, especially our mothers in our lives, that they are loved and highly valued. Here is a book that celebrates every woman and the love, care, and affection that they have given to their children selflessly. It's a gift and a blessing every way that makes us love our parents and guidance more each day. A gentle affirmation of the love and bond that exists between a baby and its mother. Author, Adiolo Yekola, has cutesy unique ways of saying how much the baby loves her mother. The book sums up quite nicely, bringing out the particular kind of love that is shared between a little one and that older someone who adores to spend time together. It has pitch perfect humor and pacing following the baby's actions that will have both parents and offsprings laughing. The book has intentions of showing affection to every person who took part in the care of the child, an amazingly beautiful script about parenthood. This book will be far my favorite children's book as it sums up exactly how you felt when in your mother's arms and bosom and you felt comfortable and cared for. This is most definitely one of these keepsake books for years to come. As the baby becomes a child and turns into adulthood, this gorgeous book will always bring back beautiful memories. The them. one book that has the most meaning to me, a brilliant script about parenthood. When reading I Am Mama's Favorite, and I discovered myself and my mother in each word, it was as though the author knew my personal story. It's a universal story reaching across all cultures, ethnicities, ages, and gender. The book is short, but not too short. It has a nice story time rhythm for those months when a baby is small and too young to know any better than to snuggle in your And house. listen to the story in its entirety. The book is beautifully written and arranged as it gives several events of the baby and her mother. For instance, I am mama's favorite when I suck happily nature's milk in a warm embrace. Two, as I lock my eyes with hers in appreciation of her love, she lets me curl my little fingers all around her big pointer. 
The baby gently, tenderly, and appreciatively communicates the message to all loving parents, especially mothers. Each of the numbered activities perfectly illustrates the journey, love, assurance, and anticipation of both the child and the mother. Especially, exceptionally well plotted, it is making the message sink in. The book has perfect illustrations and diagrams that are very colorful and interesting, making it not only fun, but exciting to keep flipping the pages and discovering something new. The book provides a valuable opportunity to build children's self-esteem every day as they have the assurance that someone genuinely cares for them, celebrates them, and they will always have someone at their back. The soft and colorful pistols perfectly complement the sentiments of the book, one that will be read repeatedly for years. The richly decorative illustrations are beautiful, usually and lyrically, visually. The richly decorative illustrations are beautiful visually and lyrically, combined with a heartfelt rhyming text to celebrate and cherish their bond. The art is stunning as it gives a detailed account of what is in the book, a sweet, uncomplicated expression of love for a child, the big-hearted celebration of new motherhood. The book has straightforward and written sentences, well-structured, easy to understand, that a three-year-old can relate to and read. This book allows you to improve and it's straight to the point with capturing pictures and concepts. The bright acrylic illustrations are everyday situations that are certain to engage the very young. I appreciate young. the young character in this book. The book has a colorful, glossy cover, which will easily catch a child's eye, making them curious and want to know more about what's in the book and make them invest their time in the great writer. author has comprised a vulnerable study and exploration a wise reflection bringing out a masterwork. The book is incredibly balanced in its width, accurate in its general outlines and details. The baby talks of its early training to be independent as her mother gently places her in the crib, though it prefers her mother's warm embrace. This enables the child to grow up knowing they should be independent in various ways, though someone is watching as though someone is watching their backs. They are mentoring the child to be confident and encourage progression. The pages are impressive, well decorated, and it is not easy to forget the context of the story as the illustrations are absorbing. The character development is also delightful. This is one of the rare baby books that should make both skeptic and sentimentalists of all ages happy. It gives hope to women who yearn to be mothers someday and hold their bundles of joy in their arms. The experiences of the mother and the child are heartwarming. The book has various lessons that we can learn from as it has universal experiences and outlooks. Though the narration is short, each page provides something to inspire a conversation with your little one or to mull over yourself. Parents can also get something out of it. It shows the role of the family played in a child's development and how important it is to the child's emotional, physical, and mental state and their well-being in general. The author's work is both fascinating and original. It reflects the growing awareness of the child. I Am Mama's Favorite is a book that celebrates every child and mother. It is meant to be carried wherever life takes you. It has a cherished place in my home library. Thank you so much, Kibi, for writing this. She's a researcher, she's, a, she's an author, and she reviews books, okay? And um, I'm going to uh, drop the links to where you can get Mama's Favorites in the description below. Okay, it is everywhere. Any major online bookstore, you are going to find our mama's favorite. You will find it in ebook format. You will also find it in paperback. All right, so I've read so much about our mama's favorites, and I'm glad you stayed with me. 
And I just want to say this, that if you are looking towards having children, if you have children, if you have nieces, if you have nephews, if you have a mother, if you have sisters, if you are a father, if you parent, I want you to take note of all of these words that just came from the review of I Am Mama's Favorites. Mothers are very important. They have added value to your life. They have cared for you. They have loved you. And as a child, you have loved what they did for you. So now that you're an adult, what are you seeing in your mother that is making you fall back? Now that you're an adult, what are you seeing in your mother that is making you think you should not relate to her? I want you to think about those. I want you to think about those things when you were a child. How she loved and cared for you. How you as a baby responded back to that love, to that care, to that emotion. You know, mother-child relationship tears up emotions. And I want you to look back to them. Even though you, do, you are an adult, now you don't remember. I want you to use I Am Mama's Favorites and the review I have shared with you today to bring those memories back. Say something nice to your mom. Today, tomorrow. Don't wait until she's no more. Do something worthwhile to, for your mom. This book I have dedicated to my mom. Okay? All you can do is just say thank you, mom, for all you've done for me. So thank you. This will be all for it. All from my end today. And I want to thank you for staying with me and listening to this long review. And until next time when I come your way again with another book, I want to say stay blessed. Keep on loving those children. Keep on loving your mom. And until next time, bye.